Hi guys, I'm the Battalion Chief, I'm the Fire Marshal. I wasn't sharing on your official title, so I didn't want to make any issue, but someone you were. Mike. Um, if you can introduce yourself to the Hi, um, Mrs. Ulrich. I, this is the senior capstone course. This is forensic science. So this basically covers um, all different aspects of law enforcement, and criminal justice, and science. We bring it all together in forensics. And the way that these students are tested is with a crime scene. So they have to analyze evidence. They have to treat it as they would treat a crime scene in that they need to take pictures. And they email those pictures to me and we evaluate um, then based on their, uh, you know, photographs and the skills that they use for that. They also have to do some uh, workplace learning in that they write a narrative that goes along with the crime scene and they have to meet certain requirements with that where they write out what four different paragraphs. The first one is setting the scene where they say on this date at this time, I received a call to go to this particular location. So almost the beginning of what a police officer might write or a firefighter setting the scene of how I ended up here. And then they discuss um, the evidence they collected, how they would process that evidence, and then if they talk to any witnesses. And throughout the year, the crime scenes get increasingly more complex. This one has um, various different components. Um, there's some um, documents. So there's a threatening note um, that the individual tried to get rid of by burning. Um, they weren't very effective at it because the note's still there. But uh, there is some ash, there is some plant material, there is some blood spatter. So as we cover different components of forensics, then we introduce those into the crime scene. So the students work in groups of three. So one person, three to four. So one person is usually what we call the team leader. They're also the photographer in a group of three. So they're the ones taking the pictures. They're the ones making sure the rest of the group is doing what they're supposed to, uh, making sure no one's missing any evidence. The only difference between our crime scenes and the crime scenes out in the world is we actually don't collect the evidence. We leave it at the crime scene for purposes of the class because if one person grabs the evidence, then the rest of the class can't process the crime scene. So uh, we do talk about how you would collect evidence and chain of custody and the steps involved in maintaining integrity with evidence, but they actually don't collect the evidence. So uh, they work as a group to make sure no one missed anything. And then again, there's one person that is the team leader and takes photographs. Another person is the sketch preparer. Um, and so then they do a couple different sketches with measurements, which is why we have um, different rulers of different sizes. We have meter six, we have ones you know, that do centimeters because they need to both get a scale for the whole scene, that the whole scene takes up this amount of space. But then you know, the, the measurements between pieces of evidence is usually much smaller. So um, they're working with that. And then they're going to take, um, right now our focus is on hair and fibers and trace evidence, just teeny, teeny, tiny pieces of evidence. And so then they look at some of those under the microscope. So we have some microscopes out for them to look at that. And then the last person is working on the narrative, which again, we use um, a format and we model it after report writing out in the field. And um, early on in the year, the students are exposed to sort of sample narratives that they now, at this point in the year, are able to uh, mimic and write out their own reports. So um, students mm -hmm. are just going to go process the crime scene and our guests can kind of see how that happens in forensics. Thank you so much. Very, very interesting. Students? <laughs>